Yo, I took a cold shower and I'm ready to go. What's up, homies? I was chillaxing. Oh, let's be real, I don't really fucking care. I'm just pretending. Because I need something to say. But hey. I still want you to have a good time, you know? She can't be caring about every old last person on the planet. How are we going to do this shindig? File. Change disc. Bada boom, bada bang. Easy peasy, squeezy lemons. Got some story to pay attention to. If I remember anything about commentating this game, it's a lot of story. So I might as well just shut up and read sometimes. People who eat pickles are nice people. Girls are nice people. They like pickles. What a nice thing to do for somebody. Wow, thank you. Eating my pickle. Imagine that in like a modern day painting. Look incredible. Oh, she's got her eyes closed. Dude. She got some mascara. Sitting up sleeping with no neck problems. I don't think that exists. This is a fantasy land. A final fantasy land. So, just before this, uh, I played four fighting games. The two new ones I played were uh, Blaze Blue, Blast Blue, Central Fiction, the main one that you, they, you would play if you're just playing a straight up Blaze Blue game. The early ones might have some extra characters that I don't know of, but that, that one's like what everyone seems to say is like the one you should play if you're just going to get into one of them for, for the gameplay, not the story. And that was a good time. The Blaze Blue AI was seemed way easier. Computer opponent. But the freaking Undernight one was like comboing me like a sweaty. I got bodied. But I eventually won after like 30 minutes. And 5,000 quarters later. I'm so glad to be back home. They barely, they just basically like left, went on a journey there, and then instantly left. They journeyed there for almost no reason. But it ends up working out. Because that's how video games go. The good thing always happens at the end.
I like it when you make fun of me. I'm a girl. Oh. Oh, I remember this. Yep. He loves gathering information. He's such a talkative Tom. Pointless insta save. Because we're on disc two. Why not? She has like nothing to learn. I didn't buy anything for her either. Feel bad. She needs some clothes. I have to go hit up the nearest Macy's. Nearest Marshalls, actually, because I'm cheap. Actually, the nearest Goodwill, because I'm that cheap. Actually, the nearest My Closet. You can have some of my clothes, because I'm that cheap. Actually, you can't even have those. You can have a punch in the fucking stomach, you, you itch. Yeah, those fighting games are fun. <laughs> I, I played four of them, and I was like, dang, I kind of want to play a couple more. But I don't want to spoil them all right away. I got a couple more. I got King King of Fighters, um Tekken, Soul Calibur 6. I have a couple King of Fighters, 13 and 14, so a little bit of 3D, a little bit of 2D. Uh and a lot of Guilty Gear games. The only other ones I want are kind of coming out in the future. I want the new Undernight Oh, or sorry, I want the new Melty Blood. I want the new uh, King of Fighters 15. And I also, there's another one, I think. I also want Guilty Gear Strive. So, oh, I also want... <laughs> I also, 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 I also want, um... Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. This is like 30 bucks still, so it's kind of pricey. Grab one of these. One of those. Whatever. I thought I got some mithril. I guess I didn't. Grab one of them. Like, I'll grab two of them. We might have to forge one later. Who cares? I don't have one of these yet. Oh, I probably can't see the one that's on our other girl girl. Linen. I don't know if he's wearing linen armor, but okay. We can pretend. Don't really need those. Just have fun buying things sometimes. All right, that was pretty sick. They got me hooked up for the next boss, pretty much. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh. Definitely glad we got that. This one does some wind attack. That might be good. Start getting that life right away. Let me soak up some of that life. This will be better for us right there. Get jelly. That's good for something. I think petrify. So we got bird killer on him. Still got undead. Might as well learn undead killer. Actually, that one's probably worse, so we might as well grab man eater first. Or we could have a better sword for him, but I didn't. I was cheap. Possibly too cheap. Let's 
South Gate Bunt Cake. Kind of like that right there. Well, tongue twister. And I bet you it tastes real good. Yummy, yummy. As the creepoids would say. Or goo goo, as the baby creepoids would say. I swear there's like another fighting game that. I like some old ones. Oh, I got Street Fighter. That's it. That's another. I got Street Fighter 4 and I got Street Fighter 5. But I don't have like the huge add ons on Street Fighter 5. So I got to like the little. The little PP version. Still got to man up and get that big, big one. I haven't played that yet. That should be fun. I was kind of wanting to get decent at Street Fighter 3rd Strike before I. Got into Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5. I already know they're not going to be my favorite fighting games, but I, I do really like them. I can tell. Because I like Street Fighter 3rd Strike a lot. I even like Street Fighter 2. So those will be fun. So far, I, if I had to say like which one's my favorite fighting game so far... That's really tough, because it would, it would be like very mixed... Like, a bunch of games would be all, all near the top. Like, tied for each other, pretty much. But yeah, I would say I like, um... I like Undernight so far. I know I don't know any of the special s stuff you can do. I'm okay at Melty Blood for somebody who doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, so I like Melty Blood, I like Undernight... I like Blaze Blue. Guilty Gear XR was pretty fun. Maybe I gotta play more of it before I like it more, but... I'd say that's, like, just below those other games. Very close. One day I might like it more. I didn't play it very much yet. Uh... But just off of initial impressions, I really liked Undernight, really liked Melty Blood, really liked Blaze Blue, so... I'm going to let those games have the crown for now. The favorite crown in my brain. He's the captain of the Knights of Pluto. Well, Sephiroth blew up Pluto with the, with the catastrophe spell or whatever the heck it was called. That's like the, the weirdest and longest <laughs> move ever and it like kills your whole team pretty much. It's pretty, it's funny. Sephiroth at the end of FF7. I, actually, I woke up this morning and I didn't really want to play this game right away and I was like, dang, why don't I want to play this game? And then I I realized, realized I was having a craving for, um... You're going to show me the rest of the map yet? I was having a craving for playing Final Fantasy V because I watched a lot of the Pixel Remasters gameplay and stuff and I was like, well, I remember when I was a kid I really liked Final Fantasy V. I just never really played it. So I was like, eh. That one's kind of calling out to me. I'll start playing that too. That way I can have this game where I talk and talk it up. You know, let out all my energy, all my thoughts, and then that game I can just chill and sit back and play it like a normal one. It'd probably be better if I commentated it, but I'm trying to do commentary long term. I don't want to just be get some guy who like does it really hard for one year and then like gets bored of it. You know. Happens, I bet that happens with a lot of people because it can get boring. You got to do the right things to like keep yourself going long term. I feel like definitely it's always good to push yourself, but it's like if you sit there and force yourself to commentate every game you ever play, you know, are you think how do you think that's going to affect your the way you feel about playing games and new game? You know what I mean? Because it's always going to be that extra requirement. Not that it's hard to talk. It's just like. If you were ever a little kid and you started playing a game, it's like you didn't really want to talk, you know what I mean? You just wanted to look at the game and focus on the game and enjoy every bit of it, you know what I mean? Like, we probably already missed a lot of fun stuff on this game just because I've been jabber-jawing. But, uh, just practicing, you know? It's a good it's a good way to get to know yourself. It's a good way to see all your defaults with your own speaking and work on them and, and not even, you know, not have to feel judgment all the time over it and stuff. Anyways, that's that's what I feel like. 
about commentating. If it's done the right way, I think it's good for people. If it's overdone, it's just like anything else. It can be bad for you. It drains your energy, makes you not want to talk as much, makes you uh, not maybe not enjoy your games as much. Still calling them criminals. These are your guys, man. That's what I realized in life. You need to, like... If the, if you do have people fighting for you, you gotta fight with them. You know, you're not... Don't, ha don't butt heads with someone who you know is fighting with you. And if there's people fighting against you and you can feel it all the time, just... You know, you duck your head out and go be a lone soldier. If you don't do that, you'll end up messing yourself up. That's I do that so many times in my life where it's like... Trying to fight for people and trying to keep them in my life so hard, and it's like they're they're always forgetting me or not listening to me with simple things and making me feel bad for saying like one thing that was not offensive and starting fights with me like for no reason. Like I literally just I'll ask a simple question and somehow it's turned into a fight one sentence later, even though I didn't ask it in a mean way and I just asked a simple question. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to go into the details, but trust me, that kind of crap happens. So it's like, and it'll happen with your parents, it'll happen with your siblings, happen with your best friends, happen with your lovers. It happens all the time. Well, you just notice her now, bro, she'd be looking good. That's just my advice, man. It, I swear, every time, I just end up messing myself up, bro. Feeling like I'm the bad guy, so then I abuse myself. Feeling like I'm alone, so... And then instead of being strong and meditating and stuff, I'll just go turn into Weaky McWeak Sauce. You know, doing bad habits, taking too much pleasure, taking too many, too many, too many heartburn nights, too many fucking swear words, all that. Too much extra anger, just, you know, when, when you did nothing wrong, you were just... Sometimes these fights come at you for like no reason. You ask the question, oh, I'm in a fight now. Ask a simple question that was not offensive. Fight. It's ridiculous, man. I just want to warn people about that crap because it's like. See, it's like. It's already infecting my nice little Final Fantasy time. You see what I mean? And all I. I, I promise you, all I did was ask a question that was not offensive. Just get. It just seems like anytime you're dealing with a girl or. Anytime you're dealing with anyone who's not you or. or they're very, very much liable to not listen to you, drown you out, make you feel like you're not worth listening to, make you feel like that you weren't being tactful when you were being tactful, make you feel like you weren't being loving when you were, you know what I mean? It's crazy. But, uh... Shut up, whiner. <laughs> That's funny. I just call him wiener or whiner. When he's whining. All you can do is keep living after that. Because cause if you don't, you're going to keep knocking yourself down. You're going to keep choosing bad habits. You're going to keep trying to get earn people's love who don't care the same amount about you. It's never going to be worth it. I've tried it so many times in my life. It's crazy, bro. You just got to do the... Anytime it's like that, you, you got to have staunch rules. It's like, I'm going to be the lone soldier. It's working for my brother. He does that. Anytime I'm giving him trouble, mom, my mom's giving him trouble, he just lone soldiers it up. And that's how you got to do it, man. If you don't do that, you're, you'll find yourself like leaning out, trying to lean on somebody, and then you'll realize that they were never there. Basically, you gotta get to the point where you're never falling and nobody can make you fall, you know? Don't trick yourself into a lifestyle where you're trying your best, trying your best, trying your best, somebody trips you and then you fall and then you get mad and then you keep hurting yourself and tripping yourself because you, cause you fell that one time and, it's, and it aggravates you afterwards. That's, that happens, I swear. It'll mess you up with your habits, it'll mess you up with addictions, it'll mess you up with sadness, it'll mess you up with laziness and not wanting to try. But uh, hopefully you guys can get a little something out of that ranting, you know. I need it, you know. I need it personally. 
I'm sick of being mad about stuff when other people start these little, these dumb little things. And it really, it, they're just fucking up their life and then you have to eat the brunt of it every time. And then you'll notice a lot of them, like, will do that to you and, and they'll never admit that they did it to you. The rest of their life, they'll believe that you did it to them. You know what I mean? It's like, I didn't do anything. I asked a fucking simple-ass question that was not mean. It's literally just trying to make a little conversation. What could have been... The answer literally could have been yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Could have been yes. But no, you, you went through this weird hurdles in your mind and you had to pick out the worst things to say to, to start a little two-sentence, four-sentence argument. It's like... Oh my god, what are you doing, man? Like, what, did you just get fucked last night and you're and you're pissed off or used up all your cum or, or what what happened to you you know what i mean everyone goes through problems why why are you starting to fight with me for, off of one sentence you know <laughs> oh make you a smoothie oh i ask you one question oh you're starting to fight with me acting like a bitch that's crazy bro yeah i wish you were making me food like that holy shit jesus man hey, I, I don't mean to complain but Somehow it always ends up ruining my day, and that's why I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna make my Final Fantasy. See what I mean? Like I tried so hard to get myself to get into this nice position where I'm making my videos, I'm having a good time, chatting it up on the mic, and then somebody somehow it finds a way to make me feel like I'm the worst piece of shit on the planet, and and I should just die. You know what I mean? It sucks. If it's not a nightmare of somebody who stabbed me in the heart in the past, it's a new. Oh, my mom's being a, a freaking weird whore. Taking granddaddy's truck out to go fuck some boys at night. Fuck some boys 27 years younger than her. And then she's gonna come home, take the smoothie I offer her in a begrudgingly way, enjoy that smoothie, barely say thanks for it, and then act like a bitch. Like, oh, but I shouldn't talk about any of that, right? Like, Jesus Christ, I'm sick of dealing with that shit, man. I should just be meaner, but I'm so fucking nice, man. It's stupid because I'm either the nice guy who eventually has to complain because they f screw me over too many times, or I'm the, the mean guy who's ruining his life and ruining their life. There's like nothing for me, you know what I mean? There isn't no sweet middle ground where I just act perfectly and they don't start the fights, you know? It's always me fighting with somebody who's got a drug addiction, me fighting with somebody who's a cheating, lying whore, me fighting with somebody who's money bags, me fighting with somebody who's got everything going for him and he still has to try to make me feel like I'm a, not an alpha male like him and I'm just a loser like you name it fighting with friends fighting with family it happens with all the time bro now I don't even got my sister here anymore she moved out so now it's just me druggy mc faker liar and my bro who's always working it's like now I'm truly alone so I don't I don't need that crap you know what I mean what I need in my life now is to step in that next step into the next direction you know what i was working for the last five days i don't want it to get ruined because somebody's trying to make me feel like a terrible person off of asking a simple question that was not offensive like geez man when you realize you're in a constant world war fight with somebody for the rest of your life you're better off just cutting them off forever because i i promise you I've tried a thousand times to reconcile. These douchebags who are addicted to coke will never listen to you and will never love you the way that they should. They're, they're loving a substance more than they're loving you, and that's the truth. trying so hard not to care about you the entire time. Oh, now you want to help him, but you don't care about Zidane. That's how girls are, bro. It's funny, these guys back in the 2000 knew exactly how it was. 
most convoluted, douchey people. They, they would ruin your life over their own little confusion instead of just suck it up and be nice to you. I promise you that. I'm going to repeat that in my head for the rest of my life because I promise you it's true. If you have some good girls, go. Go for it. I'm, I'm happy you got good people, but I've dealt with so many bad women trying to trying to be a good person, trying to do things for them, do their dishes, make them food, be nice to them, uh, work for them and pay their rent. And it's just always always bit me in the ass and, and made me fall in life and, and do bad things for myself. It was terrible. Life gets hard. The more you work, the harder it gets. And if you got someone stressing you out, then it's then it's a harder then it's a hard life plus somebody stressing you out. It's that's the worst combination in the world. It's not the right kind of pressure. It's not the right kind of love. The fact that this douche in there would even somewhat try to get in my way after all, everything we've been through just that's the last straw, man. That is the last fucking straw. Did nothing nothing to deserve that type of energy. Just disgusting. You would you would swear I took a baby's head and ripped the baby's head off to get treated like that. It's it's ridiculous, bro. Disgusting. That's the only word for it. So I guess they smoked too many cigarettes, did too many hits of coke, and now they just don't have people. Whilst having the biggest ego in the world. Over twice my age, but half of my IQ, that's cute. Alright, that's my ranting for today. Feels good to vent it to somebody. I am tired of it. I'm always gonna vent that shit. Fuck that, bro. I'm also gonna turn off my filter until I feel better. Like, screw that. I'm not sitting there eating that extra stress for somebody who wants to treat me like a, I'm a terrible person. I'm trying to burn some high potions, I think, on this guy. I'm pretty sure he has a, a better item than that. If I remember. Come on, Marcus. Get us something good, baby. This is one of my favorite parts. I didn't want to get this part ruined. Crap, bro. Guessing, but I bet I'm right. Now we don't even care if he. I don't know if he has more stuff, but I don't care. I said I was gonna look up what the last bo what Beatrix had. I think as items, but I didn't get around to it. Too busy uploading the video. So. He's all beat up. I don't know. I think he's doing like less work to us. Seems really easy, easier than I remember. Maybe that's because we've got a couple extra items. Fought most of the fights up and down there. Gotta be on his last legs. Dang, he'd be doing a lot. He got that silver sword. Jeez. I'm excited to kill that grand dragon. I don't know when we're gonna be able to do it, but. My guess is it's probably going to be during this disc. Might even probably towards the end of the disc or something.
Why would she? No, no, no. See, that's like what I'm dealing with. Like, I'm sitting there trying to love my mother, but my mother is like secretly the devil. That's what my girlfriends are like too. Like, I'm like sitting there believing that somebody's good for me and they're just like ready to let me die if they have to. Just gotta bite the bullet and be myself. Go, go for the people who wanna be with me and love me. Not the people who wanna look at their phone while you're talking to them. She's getting cocky. When is she gonna admit that she misses Zidane? That's what's pissing me off. That's another thing. Girls will not admit their true feelings. They're little douches with it. They're the biggest douches in the world. Every girl out there who says they hate their baby daddy loves their baby daddy and it's like the only man they think about all their entire life. I promise you, if it's a sister, it's a girl, if it's a girlfriend you have who's talking about her old boyfriend, she's talking about her old boyfriend because she never got over him. And you're going to be the next boyfriend that she never got over, watch. Sitting there listening to her little, her little sob story and then you end up being part of her the next sob story is fucking stupid bro. item shop vega oh these guys got the good goods what do you got you got mango smoothies i got mango smoothies oh come on bro what is that did you tricking me like you had some good good dagger be looking good good though up our customary water sip. <sighs> That's how you enjoy water, people. Don't stop doing it because people piss you off. Don't stop doing it because you get tired or lonely. Never stop, bro. And that's your rule. That's your rule for everything. For your art, for your music, for your business, for your life, for your health. That's the rule you gotta follow. Breakups will try to get you to stop. Sad parents who are sad that they're dying are gonna try to get you to stop by messing up over and over, trying to break your heart, trying to keep you around, not let you fly the coop, etc. Um, you name it, man. Why don't you just lower the game before? I don't ever want to fall victim to this one, even one more time in my entire life. That's how I feel. I'm done. Can't do it no more. Every time I try to be nice to my family and open up, oh, then slash back down every time. That's their fun. Like I'm a weed, not like I'm a tree, a person who wants to grow and expand and have their roots in the ground. No, you're cutting me up every time. That's crazy, bro. Cutting me up for nothing half the time. Oh no. I asked you if you were gonna get some toothpaste this week. I guess I'm the devil. Gently, kindly asked. After doing doing your work while you're out there doing some creepy shit. It's crazy, bro. Ruining my game in time, that's what it is. Finally get some time to do, to do what I love. Oh, gotta get ruined by some jerk one. 
Alright, <sighs> doing my best to quit all my bad habits at once, and oh, finally got some success. Oh, douche comes around, douches me. What do you know? I swear it just keeps happening like that to me, too. Like, even take a look at my last seven commentaries compared to this commentary, you know what I mean? Just my attitude, how happy I was, what I was talking about, how much I was into the game, enjoying it, instead of stressing about crap that people did to me. I wonder if these guys got like a special, like their special tasty ghosts. Oh, I can give you ore, bro. Look at this little fella. What do you got for me, buddy? Got me some AP, bro. And a high potion. Not too bad. There's a nice little fella. Gotta meet some more people like that. The big Trino. If I remember anything, I remember some some spicy music here. Let's see what they got. I don't remember how long we're staying as Dagger and Steiny. That's how I'm gonna start treating people. Let's keep running because I know you're trying to infect my brain with sadness. Cease, no sir, no sir, no sir, siri. No siri. Tell me dagger. Oh, dagger.
Oh yeah. You know I'd be like on my treasure chest. Oh, troll chest. Putting that one gill back in there. I'm gonna get the next guy. Mario. weird asking them the same question like twice and... that guy is a pooper I said something about chops, bro. Weapon shop, I guess. Thank you. 
I want that, but I want that. I want that. Alright, let's try to see what we can get here. Grab these boots. Grab a kakushka. A babushka. That should be good for now. It's probably what the game like wanted us to do. Oh, a gold choker. So we need a linen... I'd actually be willing to get rid of that. This babushka. HP plus 10%. Oh my god. Heck yeah. Oh, we only got him right now. Okay. So what do we want to take off? I'm sure that's good. Take you. Take you. Got you. Got you. That's not too good for us. Nice. We could have got that other thing too, and I wanted so those meddling jerks. So I just freaking YOLO it? Wait, what am I learning off of the linen circle list? Oh, it's cover. That's, that was actually kind of good. Yeah, but I could probably buy a linen circus at like the next weapon shop, right? Uh, that's tough. What does cover even do? Tough call, man. Hopefully all the synthesis shops just let you like synthesize everything you possibly can. Job, eh? no, I don't want to do that. That would require effort. Just try and chill around and grab some items, baby. Mr. Richmond. How much health do we have? Affected your mama's brain. I should probably heal, right? Go 
美味しく。Well, let's go to now, fire. I don't know if I get double the life learning, but that doesn't really matter. That's cool. And jelly. All right, we're a little bit set up. Now let's see how these tents work. Let's see if Steiner goes all the way up. It's probably a waste and everything, but I just wanna see. Yeah, I think it does half their health or something, 100 to 300, that's like half. It must do half. Kind of interesting, I guess. I want to use daggers, healing, and then, and then tent the tent the rest after. I don't know about MP either. Hopefully, the MP does all of it. Hey, the weapon shop. There is a weapon shop. Sell my ethers. Purposely have zero just to make things hard. I sell this. What else can we sell? Nothing. Nice. We skipped the sword and it worked out. So bar butt. Oh, we can't do that yet. Most likely we'll go back to that. What do we get from this? Another, I don't know if that gives us two. Probably not. But, but you can't even equip stuff. So this bandana is really good for her for some reason. Alright. We can go get that other thingy in the jig. She's actually got some stuff now. Now the session's going pretty good now. All you gotta do is complain, I guess. Complain until your heart's content and then stop complaining and everything goes, it works out. Why is this synthesis shop at again? All my money. All 
don't know if that's good. <laughs> but I like buying things. Interesting. I don't know who uses shadow damage. But... Babushka. Auto potion, that one's good. And Michelle, what else is teaching Michelle? Oh, this one. Also gives him auto potion. Alright, so we got a lot of things to learn next. Probably really matters, like, a little bit when your parties separate and who has sep separate. When your party's separate, like, who's holding on to some of the better uh, ability items, but... We're not gonna worry too much about it. Because eventually you get, you just can... Take all your items and share them, so... Doesn't matter. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Anything but a card tournament. Maybe. Crap, I didn't pay attention to their last conversation. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, st no, I'm stuck not knowing what to do, bro. It's my worst nightmare. I think I actually did a little leveling up when I was younger out there. Where did he find a bar? Just the bar? Bearded man, duh, I should have put that two and two together. Shut up. Steiner needs to get punched. He's worried about the queen. The queen's about to kill cities, bro. The queen has killed cities already. You're worried about the queen. That's like where people like tell you like that girl's a cheater. Um, there's something wrong with that girl. She she really likes drugs. You know what I mean? Someone w gives you a warning about something that's a truthful warning, and then you just like continue to support the person who's doing bad things to others. That's like word for word what goes on. He's, he's waiting for this guy to be, stop being a... Well, I didn't know he was so big. He makes Steiner look like a little guy. See, it's funny. The, the game is talking about exactly what I was talking about. People are stubborn to change in good ways, when, when you're, even if you're trying to help them. You know? I've done it. I, people have done it to me all the time. They wouldn't change with me, and then they go and change without me, you know, as much as they can. Well, the auctioneer is evil.
Damn, this guy's a creeper. Zidane treat her like a child. Zidane didn't do shit to her. Zidane just helped her a bunch and then was like trying to be nice to her. Treat her like a child. How exactly how did he do that? And like what in one conversation he said one thing. <laughs> like all of that hours and hours of effort and almost dying. Taking on enemies for you, and then and then that that's like life in a nutshell. What happens? People take your whole soul away, and then they're ready to turn on you in a dime. She likes helping people. If more girls were like Dagger, and they'd actually come around, even if she has to be kind of a a baby for a while. Into the synthesis shop, eh? Choosy. Ted. There's a free heal? No, it's still not a free heal. They really want to, like, make it a little bit less like FF7 where it was like so easy just to rest at ends and use tents and that's like all you did. Now you kind of do some improvising and stuff. Oh, I wanted to throw that in the water. I messed up. Oh. I wonder what that does. And if I look up anything, I'm gonna look up little things like that. Now I'm starting to remember. Yeah, we. this is like the longest section, I think, with Dagger and Steiner. No 
little treasure chest. A little peep. A little Uzi. Little titties. And that'd be funny if there's like a girl rapper and she had like some like like a good body, but her name was like little titties. Or little bitties. It's just like casually strolling. I like it. Give me that. I didn't know Blank like got out this early. I wonder if he does. What am I missing here? This guy's trying to be. Uh... What's that guy's name? No, oh, I already forgot his name. Bugenhagen. In my defense, that's kind of easy to forget. Materia stones. Oh, she's a genius. She likes love stories. Wait, did she say she read every book or did he say she should know that the planet isn't the globe or that her castle isn't the globe? This is like a shout out to FF7 right here. Oh, I Help me kill my mom. Fail at goofy goof troop or something. The disused tunnel. I don't know if that's a word. Unused.
I like my spider tunnel. Nobody uses it, but I like it. I like my secret tricks. Dr. Top. You need to do a little leveling up. Steiner's got the blue sword. Oh my god. on the other side. The treasures? No treasures, but Can I steal stuff from Marcus? That's mostly what I'm interested in here. Oh, he's got garbage. Not even worth stealing. How do you do so much damage? What am I missing? Here? 27 strength. He's doing a lot of damage, though. Oh, I didn't look at that. What does attack say? 2016. That's good attack. I wonder why his attack is so high. doing more damage. Oh, dagger. Oh, that's fire damage. She's wearing that thing that gives her extra fire damage, but she can't even do that yet. We got manning and we got cover. I think we're ready to switch and stuff. this. We got cover. We're good to go here. Chainmail is better for me. Thought we had another armor piece for Mena. And what does she got? We, got? we have life all good. That seemed like we learned that fast. Still got a little bit to go. If 
think I did a bunch of leveling up here when I was a kid. These guys probably got something good to steal because we got Marcus with us. They do so much damage. Though. I guess they wanted you to do a little battling with these guys or something. Jeez. We could try to YOLO, probably lose a Phoenix down out of it. Yep. Oh, I could use life. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Oh, still need to get that. Well, we don't have protect yet, do we? There's a lot of battling. They must have like a really high encounter right there or something. I like how they got that little HP plus 10% like shout out to Final Fantasy VII. Except we don't want to give you HP plus 500%. I don't understand what you're saying. Gargan. Oh yeah, I remember there's like some puzzliness to this, of course. Diner's probably doing so much damage because he got like Beast Killer or something. <laughs> Man, why she gotta be looking like that? for one help. What are we feeding him? I don't remember. Is it a living thing or something? Nah, it's 
got a little funny eating noise. It's weird how like when your party separates, it's like low key the funnest one of the funnest parts of the game. Good little spider guy. Yeah. Alright, this is more of an ant on a gargantuan ant. Snake boy, the super worm. One thing I like about this game is I love how it does so much with so little. Like that area is like so short and simple, but it's like, I was there for kind of a, kind of a bit. It always does so much with so little. Oh, I meant to steal. Whatever, Steiner's doing mad damage. What do you got for me, bro? No, man. Not like that. Oh, it's poison. Nice, bro. Juicy. Oh, we're both hurting. I should have stole more, but my mithril fork seemed pretty juicy. I'm okay with that. Oh, the poison goes away after a while. That's nice. That's actually really nice. I'm trying to damage him as much as I can here before he slows us all down. Steiner's getting big, big, so we should be good soon. Oh, he runs. I didn't even know that. You fight him more than once? I don't know. They really know how to make it make you salty when the guy runs away, and you don't get nothing. Out of the frying pan and into the fire with this game. You're not okay. <laughs> you guys are never okay. You guys haven't come come to terms with the fact that some people are just massively against you. I do the same thing in my life. Sometimes you're against yourself, sometimes it's other people, sometimes it's the past, sometimes it's your nightmares, sometimes it's the memories. Always something massively against you, and you don't know. You gotta try to be more aware and more ready for things. Stories.
She shot a cannonball at you. <laughs> Why is that surprising? Now we're back with the squad. I was trying to get through that. That part can drag on if you lollygag too much. I'd never forget about her. Who cares? Who can't see her die? It's just stuck together. She left for no like no reason. <laughs> That's like the story of life, bro. People thinking they need to split off from the ones they love to go search for something else. Only to realize years down the line that they should have stuck by the sides of the people they, that love them the most. But okay. That was this episode. Uh, started off pretty rough. I guess I had a lot of things I was going through and uh, ended up pretty good. So thanks for tuning in. We'll have another episode soon. Uh, not sure how long that one was, but uh, we'll be back uh, most likely tomorrow. I'm gonna be sleeping after that after that rough morning of doing nothing besides playing video games. I'm gonna be sleeping. So I'll uh, see you guys then.